It's Whitney here and I'm back with another video. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back. For today's video, I'll be doing another makeup therapy video because I had so much fun filming the last one. I think I wanna make it like a weekly thing. I think I'm gonna put them up on Thursdays and we'll call it like Therapeutic Thursdays, something like that. But I just feel like it's such a good like stress reliever. It's a perfect way to kind of de-stress from the week and kind of wind down and get prepared for the weekend it sounds like something that you would be interested in then thumbs up this video and let me know in the comment section below last week i did all elf products so i think it'll be kind of fun to do kind of like a theme every week so you know so it doesn't get repetitive and doesn't get boring so i'll be doing like different kind of themes or looks for today's video in honor of juneteenth being recently recognized as a federal holiday i want to do all black owned products or black owned brands so everything that will be on my face today will be a black owned brand and I have a mixture of drugstore as well as non-drugstore items. I'll be sure to let you know where you can get them from. And I'll also put everything I use down in the description box below. So if you would like to see how we achieve this look, then keep on watching. So my face is already clean and moisturized. So the first step is to prime. I'm using the Black Radiance Hydrate and Blur Primer. And you can get this primer from Walmart, Target, Walgreens, or CVS. Pretty much anywhere that Black Radiance products are sold, you can find all of these Black Radiance products that are featured in this video. Next, I'm going to go in with this Black Radiance True Complexion HD Corrector. And this is in the shade Fair. I felt like all the other shades were too dark and they weren't going to give me a highlight. So that is why I went with this shade. But I didn't know how, you know, it was going to work or what to expect. So I'm just going to kind of blend that out just to clean the brow up. Next, I'm going to use this beauty sponge just to blend that concealer out a little bit more. For my foundation, I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Soft Matte Pro Filter Foundation. And you can purchase this at Sephora as well as Fenty's website. Okay, y'all. We had some technical difficulties. I don't know why my pump isn't working on my Fenty, but I saw how to take the whole lid off. So, we back in the game now. I used the shade 400 in this foundation and it looks a little crazy at first but when I blend it out it looks better. I think I might try a different shade as well. Yeah, we gonna get it together. I, I promise we are. So we're gonna go back in with the primer again. Because I couldn't get the pump to work, the little bit that I did have sitting on my face, it sat there too long. It wouldn't blend, it sat too long. So I think we got it together now. So let's try this again. I'm gonna blend it in. And I did spray my brush with the Smashbox Primer Water. So yeah, we're just gonna blend it on in. Now I'm gonna take that sponge once again and just to make sure that that foundation is blended in nicely. So now I'm gonna go back in with that Black Radiance Concealer. And once I started blending it in, I didn't really get much highlight, so I did go in with a second layer, which you will see. I still don't feel like it really brightened under my eye as much as I wanted it to, but for the sake of the video, it did pretty good.
To set that concealer, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Setting Powder in the shade Honey. And once again, this can be purchased on Fenty Beauty's website as well as Sephora's website. To bronze my face, I'm going to use this LYS Beauty Bronzer in the shade Strength. This can be purchased on Sephora's website as well as directly from LYS Beauty's website. So for my blush, I'm going to use the Black Radiance Baked Blush in the shade Toasted Almond. To highlight, I'm going to use another Black Radiance product. This is actually a baked bronzer in the shade Spice Rum, but because I don't like glittery uh, bronzers, I'm using it as a highlight. Next, I'm going to go in with the Black Radiant Soft Focus Finishing Powder in Milk Chocolate. And I do this last because I like to be mindful of how much powder products I use because I do have drier skin. So I go in and place this only on the places that has not been set with any other product. Now that all the powder products are down, I'm going to go in with the Black Radiance Dewy Setting Spray. And then I'm going to use my sponge to just press it into my skin. So because I didn't get a designated eyeshadow palette, I'm going to get a little creative. And I'm going to use this Black Radiance Contour Palette in Deep to Dark. And I'm going to create just a nice simple eye look with it. So I'm going to start with the contour shade and pop that right in the corner. Just to kind of give a smoky eye look. Next, I'm going to go in with the Sculpting Shade, which can also be used as a bronzer on my skin tone. And I'm going to use it as a transition color, so I'm going to pop it in the crease and kind of blend out that contour shade that we just placed down. Lastly, I'm going to go in with that highlighter shade and I'm going to use my finger and pop that right on the lid just to give a little pop of color and a little shimmer to the look. These are just my lashes from Amazon. They aren't black on, so I'm just going to put some glue on it and let that get a little tacky and we're going to move on to the lips. For the lips, I'm going to use this black opal lip pencil and this is in the shade The Loop and it is a nice red lip liner. And 
And for my lipstick, I'm going to use this Black Radiance lipstick in the color Rage Red. And we're going to just put that on. I don't really wear bright lips, so this was just kind of, you know, just playing around in it to see how it turned out. Now that the lips are done, I'm just going to go in and place those lashes down. We're going to go in with that setting spray one last time and just press everything in. And this is the final look. I feel like it turned out really pretty. If you guys like it, give this video a thumbs up. And if you like these type of videos, be sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. And you'll be notified every Thursday when I upload. Thank you so much for watching.